It was about a man who lost his wife. How oh, careless, sir. <laughs> and he was saying that he was very sorry about this to a friend of his at the work. And, uh, and the friend said, well, well, you miss her, do you? He said, yes. He said, I miss the talk in the evening. So he said, well, buy a budgie. He said, a what? He said, a budgerigar. You know, a little bird. He said, buy it, because they, they talk very nice and you'll, it'll cheer you up no end. So he saw him a couple of days later. He said, did you get the budgie? He said, yes, I did, actually. He said, does he talk? No, he said, he doesn't talk at all. Don't he? That's unusual. He said, well, I'll tell you what to do. He said, buy him a mirror. And he'll have a look at himself in the mirror and probably start talking to himself. Try it. He said, well, I will. They met the next day. He said, you get the mirror? He said, just got the mirror. He said, is he talking? No, not a word. He said, I'll tell you what to do. Buy him a bell. That'll do the trick. A bell. He'll sort of nibble about with his beak and uh, it'll, it'll, he'll talk all right. Buy him a bell. So saw him a couple of days later. He said, get the bell. He said, yes. He said, is he talking? No, not talking. He said, I'll tell you what to do, buy him a little ladder. Maybe he's a bit liverish. That's why he's not talking. Get the ladder and he'll run up and down the ladder and he'll talk. So he saw him a couple of days later, it was three days actually, a long weekend, I remember. And he said, uh, is he talking? He said, no, no, he's dead. He said, he's dead? Yeah, he's dead. Cool. He said, he did say something just before he died. He said, what was it? He said, food.